Hey, uh, I'm calling about your uh, Volkswagen bus, the 71 that you have out. out. Yeah, um, have, have you had anyone looking after it or is it, is it still for sale? It's still for sale. What were you uh, looking to get for it? I'm looking to get 10 to 12,000 for it. This, uh, you said 10 to 12? Yes, sir. And it, so it runs and drives? Where do I turn? I had been driving by it every day on the way to the gym and never even realized it. And then Mitch told me he had seen it and that I wouldn't believe it. And so we went straight there one Saturday morning. I've only been inside one of these once. And that was up in Maine when I was visiting my sister a few years ago. I test drove one from a local shop and I fell in love, but it was way too expensive. I was just completely dreaming a dream I placed on the shelf, and it's since collected dust. And then this popped up, <laughs> and, uh, well, you'll see. You can't, I would so much rather invest money into something that's gonna bring unlimited memories and experience than hold on to it and be an old geyser. So a lot has happened this spring, and I've been busy working with Dave on video projects to get the bills paid and save up. It's been peaceful watching the Berkshires come to life for summer. And there's been some gorgeous weekend days spent with friends. We've played some basketball, though not as much as I'd like. It's always hard for everyone to coordinate. And we've been meeting at Dewey's a lot. And I even got up to top four in Fortnite with Mitch one night, though we haven't played in over a month. It's just way too nice out for video games. Going to Northampton to get the uh, windows tinted. As you can see, there's not much to them. And uh, get a preview of the Vance Joy album the whole way there. And uh, probably go to Faces. Kyle? <coughs> Hello? Do they only take cash? No. Okay, I played with it, card. Played with it? <laughs> and I had to sign an amendment. Oh, an addendum. An addendum. <laughs> Then one rainy weekend morning, Mitch and I headed to Northampton. It's a fun drive, one of my favorites actually. And uh, we both wanted to get some stuff for our apartments. <laughs> On the way back from Northampton, we veered down a side road like we usually do. We drove for the sake of driving, 
Seems like rainy days just make for the coziest trips. <laughs> Uh, yeah. So we're on 143 in Peru, just entered Berkshire County, and we are going to go into this ominous forest of fog. so foggy you can't even see anything. <laughs> Dude, found Mitch. I just got chased. Something, my feet are so wet. Your mind. I had to put my shoes. Where did you go? I was... I heard something and I went that way. You were all the way over there. Yeah. That was terrifying. Like, it was not a, like oh. a... What the? So it ended up being almost a month of waiting and negotiating and dealing with other things before I finally sealed the deal. But I picked up the keys on a recent rainy afternoon. It's been raining a lot now that I think about it. And I had to wait for my friends to get out of work in order to actually bring it home, but I couldn't help but take it for a nice drive in the meantime. It definitely needs some TLC. I've got to take care of the floor rust and refinish a bunch of areas, but I'm excited to start making it unique to me. I just love everything about older cars. You really feel a different kind of connection with them. I, I've always been in love with cars in general. I mean, driving just makes me happy. I don't even usually listen to music. I just, I just like the motion and the feeling and the freedom. And this van embodies everything about freedom for me. I cannot wait to share that feeling with everyone else in my life including you. I've got a lot of plans for it, and I cannot wait to show you. Talk soon, Huck. <laughs> 